been thinking a lot about this idea that all depiction is fiction. Every time we reproduce something, we alter it slightly, even in our just conception of that thing, we, we alter it. That began to happen really early on in my project as I started to think about the fact that as a painter, everything that I do traditionally is illusion. There's no person there, there's no space there. This is a flat canvas. Mixing those facts and those fictions, also mixing illusion and physical disruption of the, the canvas itself. I think it's a real challenge to understand what is happening in the paintings because sometimes you're looking at things and you don't know whether it's, it's um, the illusion of paint on canvas or if it's actually folded canvas. The Jerome Project um, started uh, a long time ago. The name is my father's name and uh, I was separated from my father when I was uh, young. I know that my father was actually named after Saint Jerome. Recently I went back and started looking for him and uh, I found his mugshot on uh, mugshot.com and a bunch of other mugshot websites and I found about 99 other men with the exact same name first and last and most of them were black men and I just found that whole situation sort of shocking and uh, just wonder how is it that, um, that this name in some way has some ability to sort of predict the circumstance. I had made paintings, I had made drawings, I had been thinking about these issues quite a bit and then Ferguson happened. I was struck by how the, the symbol of this continued reinvigorated civil rights movement um, is this open hand, these two open hands up. And that's very interesting to me in contrast to um, the black power movement, which was symbolized by a closed black fist. When I was approached by time, I, I was really nervous about the whole thing in the first place. But the work is very connected to, to what I've done, what I've continued to do, the, the uh, criminal justice issues, the social and political issues, the um, historical uh, paintings, these kinds of things have always been a part of my practice. Anytime something exists in media, it's almost a kind of permission to forget it now. Like, okay, I saw that, turn the channel, I'll see this other thing. And so I decided that I wanted to try to make a piece that reflected this idea of erasure um, and how these ideas, how these, these issues actually get erased from discussion from media. As a whole, I don't know that the art world has had a response as a whole. Um, I've seen individual citizens respond to the situation and that has been encouraging. That has been extremely encouraging. In terms of the art world's response, that's not really something I'm looking at. This is way bigger than that. This is way bigger than that and I think uh, the response needs to be bigger than that.